Homoerotic sex is one of my personal favorite pastimes, and they say that you're good at something once you've clocked in about 5,000 hours doing it. Therefore, I would consider myself to be a gay porn master. Today, we're going to be ranking the hottest CSGO agents, both men and women, from quite ugly to would instantly fuck. You can ignore that tier for now. Now, according to my online sources, there are 62 playable characters in CSGO. Some of them are clearly better than others. Now, I don't want to get started on how political this game has become. You know, back in my day, you could log on and play CSGO without having to see super political characters running around, but, you know, you got to appeal to society. Now, for some reason, I have a very particular feeling that a video going in depth about why I want to have sex with virtual characters, I have a feeling that that's probably going to get demonetized. So I want to give a very massive thank you to the sponsor of this video, Boost Hub. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. They're fucking dope. And you guys showed a ton of love last time they sponsored us, which is appreciated. My content can be quite, um questionable at times so you guys supporting the sponsors is much much appreciated listen i made a very special advertisement for boost hub i would love to perform it for you all right now oh look honey it's the primates exhibit look at all those stupid idiot monkeys flinging their own shit at each other what a bunch of stupid fucks huh oh what's that He's knocking on the glass? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. I, I pay full price for Discord services. Yep, that's why you're in there, bud. You see, guys, this monkey is stupid. Cognitive research on chimpanzees place their estimated IQ between 20 and 25. The exact same IQ of someone who would ever pay Discord's brain-dead prices. Boosthub.gg is your place to go for affordable and reliable Discord services at a great discount. Where else can you boost a server to level 3 for 3 entire months for only $15? Or, say you want Discord Nitro. A year of Discord Nitro Classic is $50 on Discord, but buying that same product on Boost Hub is only $30. It just makes sense. With a near perfect trust pilot rating and tons of live feedback, there is no better place to go than BoostHub.gg. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to it. Let's get the politics out of the way immediately. Now, listen, there are a certain few characters that I feel are just kind of up to no good whatsoever. You know, just real troublemakers, actually. Colonel Mangoes, this guy just looks like a real thief to me. It's just the vibe that I'm getting from him. We're going to go ahead and put him in the maybe in 1860 category. Matter of fact, the following additions will all be in that category. Elite Trapper Solomon. I'm kind of just getting the same feelings. He does look pretty chill in that Hawaiian shirt, but I don't know. It just looks like he's up to no good. I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe he's just not high school educated. I'm not sure. Osiris, kind of a similar situation. Just kind of feels like he's been in jail before or something. I'm not. I'm just not a big fan. Uh, lastly, we have Marcus Delro. Now, listen, this one's quite sad because I don't have a huge problem with Marcus. He's got pretty cool glasses. He's got a nice Turtle Beach headset, but I do see a rather glaring problem with him. As you can see on his sleeve, it clearly says FBI. This obviously stands for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. You know, a couple of simple Google searches and you're immediately at the eligibility and hiring requirements for the FBI. And it says right here that you must adhere with FBI drug policy and pass a urinalysis and background investigation. What they're saying is they drug test. Now, if you're telling me right now with a straight face that Marcus of all the agents passed a drug test, you are full of shit. He deserves to be at the bottom. That's all I'm saying. Now, this video is about who is the hottest agent, but we do need to get the trash just filtered out. Uh, so that's one category of troublemakers out of the way. Let's move on to the next. Trapper. Now, 9-11 was two days ago when I'm recording this, so it seems a little insensitive not to put him at the quite ugly tier. Same thing goes for Trapper Aggressor. I'd be way too worried about them hijacking a commercial flight to ever have sex with them, to be honest. Last one I can see for this category is the Ground Rebel. You know, I've seen enough heads getting chopped off to know not to approach someone like this. I'd like to make it very clear that these jokes are all satirical 
and that I respect every race and religion equally. What I don't like, however, is women. Well, I mean, I do kind of like some women, but not most. I don't know why they would add them to my game. It's a classic leftist tactic. You add the propaganda where they least expect it, and you let it soak into their impressionable minds. I won't stand for it. Commander Davida, dog shit. This Viper bitch, what a fucking whore. Dog shit. Special Agent Ava, go fuck yourself, cunt. Dog shit. Chef de Escudadron, what a stupid goddamn name. Get in the fucking kitchen. Dog shit. Commander May, go clean the fucking fridge, you worthless whore. Dog shit. First Lieutenant Farlow, listen, you're a woman and you're from Asia. What a terrible combination. Which country in Asia do we think that she's from? China? Listen, you know what? I'll tell you why I don't like you in your own fucking language, bitch. Get away, Sally. It does not get much worse than this. She has very masculine features. Almost makes me want to ask the question, what is a woman? But I digress. Why does she have such a strong jaw? How much fucking testosterone is in this whore's blood? Bottom of the barrel dog shit. Lieutenant Tree Hugger. Uh, it looks like the Hulk came on her fucking face. Dog shit, stay in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure that is all the, uh, bleh, women. Now, we can finally get into the real chivalrous discussion, you know? Just a couple of men sitting back, drinking some whiskey on the rocks. We got the cigars lighted. Just a couple of classy fellows talking about which men they'd rather fuck in a video game. Now, there's many high-level contenders for these top spots, so let's just start off by talking about the absolute studs. Crasswater. I would let this man absolutely blow my fucking back out. I'm talking like he could treat me like property, chain me to a fucking wall, and just absolutely have his way with me. Same thing goes for his twin brother, fucking Crasswater the Forgotten, except this time he has clothes on, which is not necessary at all. The top tier, no questions asked. Mr. Mullick, this dude is an absolute fucking stud. I could see me under his desk just giving him the fucking treatment. He's a real soldier too. Look at the ammo that he has strapped to his fucking shoulders. The roleplay would be out of this goddamn world. Top tier for sure. Romanov, technically the doctor Romanov. And let me tell you something. This dude could be my doctor any fucking day of the week. You could inspect me, bud. Make sure every inch of me is healthy if you know what I'm fucking talking about. Let's get some of those gray hairs in my teeth, man. The drip is immaculate. We love a good grandpa. I'm giving this handsome man the top tier. No questions asked. Number K. Now, this is a no-brainer. Uh, he's already got the condom on his head. I know some people might say that that is some type of pantyhose or something like that. That is clearly a condom. He's a kinky motherfucker, man. He clearly has one of those fetishes where he doesn't want to be able to breathe. That's why he has it wrapped around his fucking nose. You know, I can think of a couple people that might be into that difficult breathing kink. I mean, you got Derek, uh... Car quarterback for the Las Vegas Raiders. Listen, all I'm trying to say is that if he wants me to take that condom off his face and place it around his magnum cock before he absolutely ruins my insides with it, I'm cool. Lieutenant Rex Crikey, his name is obviously a Steve Irwin reference. You know, I like to imagine Steve Irwin saying Crikey right as that stingray bar punctured right through his fucking heart. He's got the cowboy hat, he's got the mustache, he's top tier. I absolutely would fuck him. Here we have McCoy, look at that sexy ass beard, and the American patch on the side. He's a patriot, man. He's fighting for the good old boys. I'd let him fuck me just for being on the winning team. Top tier, bud. Keep up the great work. He's got an identical twin brother as well. I'm personally, I'm thinking a little bit of threesome action. You know what I'm saying? A couple of Patriots get together. Maybe we play some Tom McDonald, you know, set the mood. He can go ahead and get on up there as well. Rezan the Ready. I think that's how you say it. Look at this sexy fuck. He just looks comfortable, man. Nice solid jacket, little sweater underneath. Comfortable and confident. I would dick him down. Top tier. You know, I'm noticing a pattern of multiple variations of the same skin. Fucking Rizan, however the fuck you say it. He has a twin brother as well. This is an absolute W though. Rizan, Rizan, he is so fucking fine. So I am absolutely not turning down a nice extra hunk of a man. The more, the merrier. He can go right up there with his brother. Here we have Sergeant Bombson. I love 
a man in uniform. He's got those big bulky glasses. I'd want to get fucked by him in his SWAT gear, to be honest. I just feel like the role play would be immaculate. He could put his turquoise hat on me or something. Definitely a top tier guy for sure. All right, let's talk about a Dilf, man. Dragomir. You know, he gives me real dad vibes. Someone who'd really take control of me while we're fucking. I could see myself in handcuffs with him. I'm a big fan of that personally. So we'll definitely have him up there. Alongside him will absolutely be Maximus. They give off the same dad energy, except Maximus has this interesting hat on. Kind of gives me Irish vibes, you know? Makes sense. He could fuck me at the pub. I would dress up as a leprechaun if it meant I could get absolutely fucking ran through by him. Top tier. No questions asked. Let's take a little transition from Irish stud to CEO. Little Kev, the business attire. I love it. You know, I think we've all had fantasies of getting railed in a nice big office or in a penthouse. You know, there are some real 50 shades of gray vibes here. He could spit in my fucking face. Top tier. 100%. You know, I also kind of get those vibes with Jungle Rebel as well. M maybe a little bit more business casual. You see, with Little Kev, you'd you'd really want to be taken, you know, chosen specifically to be his slave forever. But with this guy, it would definitely be more friends with benefits. You know, it'd be a little bit looser for sure. Definitely would fuck though. Top tier, 100%. The last one that I'm seeing for the top tier is Commander Rixall. I mean, the title Commander makes this guy appealing, you know? You can fucking command me any day, bud. I'm ready to listen and serve if you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know, you gotta love just a nice, big, brawny, muscular man. You get to sleep on his pecs every night. Oh yeah, top tier. So that was the last one I can see for now being at the highest tier. We still have a lot to go through though. So let's go ahead and talk about a massive problem with most of these remaining characters. They all have masks. Don't get me wrong, masks can be very useful. You know, sort of as cum shields or something like that. Here's a prime example. Aspertan. I don't think that's how you say it, but we're going to call him Aspertan. Aspertan. He's hiding his face behind a mask, which would lead me to believe that he's quite ugly. So I would not instantly fuck him, but the cum shield that he has on his face is a very, very big plus. You know, you could just sort of continuously ejaculate on his face and then after five or six times, he could use his tongue as a fucking windshield wiper. You know, that personally gives me an erection. So he will be going in the gives me an erection tier. For the rest of them, though, their masks just aren't that special. Now, we're going to have to start grouping a few of them together here just to speed this up. Because if we don't, we're going to be talking about sex with virtual men for hours. Which, you know, I try to keep my time doing that at around 9 to 12 hours a day. And I'm already way fucking beyond that, so. All of the characters with ski masks. These are all going immediately in the would-have-to-be-drunk tier. The reason for this is very, very simple. I would have to imagine a break-in scenario for us to fuck. The only other reason to wear ski masks during sex would be if you were at a fucking ski lodge, you know? Maybe high up in the mountains, swallowing some dick in the snow. I'm not personally into that. So it would have to be some sort of like consensual, rough, break-in roleplay sex. And I'm not saying that I couldn't get behind it, but I would definitely need to be drunk. Now, I hate to have to group another set of them together, but I mean, come on, guys. These alien-looking freaks. Notice how they all have the exact same skin complexion. Just a bunch of fat fucking losers, man. These masks are so fucking dumb. The only way that I could get fucked by one of these morons is if it was, like, some type of kidnapping situation, and they were the ones who captured me. Maybe, just maybe, I develop some Stockholm Syndrome when I get wasted. That could lead to me deep throat and a couple of cocks. But, you know, we can't really tell what's under the mask. I'm just not a big fan of that, so. This is the tier for them. Here we have Safe Kracher Voltsman. You know, I actually think this might be a woman. I am so sorry. I tried very specifically to get all the political characters out of the way up front, but I clearly failed. She looks like a fucking liberal science major. Immediate shit tier. It won't happen again, boys. I hope you can forgive me. Michael Ciphers. Listen, I'm gonna have to put him in the would have to be drunk tier. He is a man, which is a good sign, but, you know, my neighbors and other people in my apartment complex, they own pets. Listen, I don't want to, all I'm saying is I don't want to be subpoenaed into a court to explain why an ex-lover of mine was found eating a bunch of puppies alive in the back alleys of Baltimore. So we're going to keep him there. Next up, we have the baldy, Professor Shitmat. He just looks fucking stupid. You know, my penis has absolutely no reaction when I see his face. So we're going to have to put him in the quite ugly tier. Last but not least, we got one last group. We have the awesome 
Auschwitz guards, even though we can't see their faces, I think that it is very important for us to take a moment to acknowledge the respect that we must have for them. They are standing up for what is right. With that being said, I don't know what they look like, okay? The major downside to these characters is that you can't really tell what race they are. Unlike with the alien mask fucks, you can actually see what skin color they are. With, with them, you can't tell what color or race they are. That is precisely why they are going to be under the quite ugly tier. It's not a risk that I'm willing to take. You know, some of you might say put them at the would have to be drunk tier. But if I did have intercourse with one of these men while intoxicated, and then it was to be discovered that they were in fact uh, another race, or even worse, a... <laughs> a woman, I would kill myself. I would be absolutely disgusted, and I would never be able to live with myself afterwards, so they are going to remain permanently there. Now, we're definitely missing a few miscellaneous agents. It's hard to keep track of all of the different ones, but I think this covers most of them. If we did miss a few, let me know. Maybe we make a second video or a members-only video. Now, I'm very curious to see what all of your guys' opinions on these characters would be. Who are the hottest? Who are the ugliest? Would you take the risk and fuck the ones with the gas masks on? You let me know. I will leave the blank template in the description below, and I will be reading every comment very carefully. If you do want to have sex with men, go ahead and do me a favor, hit that like button, you know? Speaking of people who want to have sex with men, huge thank you to the channel members on screen right now. You guys are the fucking best. Love you, boys. There will be streams soon, but right now, we're full grinding videos, boys. Special thank you to our First World channel members, Kyle, Terry, Eleni, Jimbo, Tokyo, Just Unstoppable, Denied, Hashed, Groa, and Jerry. You guys are the fucking best. Love you boys. Thank you so much for the love. And then the gayest of them all, my beloved top secret members, Shinny, Last Resort Gamer, Nick, Glizbob, Dolba, and Solvek. We are off to have e-sex right now. Later boys. Take it easy.